Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. I am Birdman Johnson. Yes, that Birdman. Not the other one. Not any of the others. Just this one right here that you're listening to right now. We're going to start a new game today. This is Sophie's Curse, as you can see right there in the middle of the screen. This is by a developer called Edco Games. Uh, apparently, specifically, by someone named Luis Contreras. And I don't really have much information about this company. Uh, they've got a handful of other things on their Steam page that I haven't heard of. Uh, their little bur blurb, blurb says that they provide unique 2D experiences. This doesn't look like either of those things. It, it looks like an experience. Not It's the other two things. Um, and each of their pages says that they're working on a different project right now, so I don't really know what to do with that. Now, the game does promise Warning, loud noises and jump scares. Ooh, I think you can even see my cursor today. So see right there. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Um, let's have a look at the quick guide since it's flashing at us. The rules of the game are simple. Don't let the lights run out of power. That's it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sophie, Sophie. Okay, don't care. Now, I was actually hesitant to play this game because not quite 100% of the information I could find about it were... Just throw up the screenshot. Yeah, it was, it was that, 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 that's it. Um, so, let's dive in and see what we've got here. We are going to play on Curse Mode? Curse or Nightmare? This is a heck of a decision, but this is great for new players. It starts easy and gets harder each checkpoint. That's what we like. Oh, and by the way, there will be no content warnings. Okay, let's read this uh, fairly lengthy note. So I, I get to read right out of the gate. We all love that. March 5, 2012. It is apparently 7 p.m. right now. Hello, please forgive me. I was in a hurry and couldn't wait for you to arrive. Thank you so much for taking the gig. I believe we're a house sitter. A lot of people turn me down because they believe the place is haunted. Ha ha, can you believe that? And that's been crossed out very suspiciously. My grandpa is already asleep. He's a heavy sleeper, so he probably won't wake up during the night, but it's best to have you in there just in case he needs help going to the bathroom or something. Ah, we're a nurse. Please ignore all the mess in the house. It's our first day in there, and I spent most of the day setting up my lighting devices because there is no electricity in the house. Apparently, the wires in the house are very old and need to be replaced. I would hire an electrician. Uh, wiring is the one thing I'm not willing to do myself. Luckily, I created these lighting devices a few months back, and now it's the perfect time to test them out. I'm sure they will work just fine. My devices are almost ready to hit the market. You know, you can buy lamps. That's a thing that exists right now on the market. I set four devices up around the house, two on each floor. That should be enough for now. These devices can hold a charge for up to 12 hours, and I just recharged them, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. But please keep an eye on them just in case, after all. It's still a prototype. If for some reason one of the devices gives you an error, you can use the computer that I left on the kitchen counter to fix it. If you don't, the whole system might fail. There is something about this place that is making the devices a little unstable, but I'm sure you can handle it. Don't worry, I'll pay you a little extra. Okay, so if something goes out, we have to run to the computer in the kitchen. This is from someone named Robert. You know, buddy. If you were going to cross out the text like this, this early in the note, you might as well have just written a new note, because this is incredibly suspicious. Oh, it's 7.01. Time is passing in real time. Click here to move. Right-click to use computer. Hey, Robert, are you there? Is it true? Sophie is really in the house? Who's Sophie? I mean, I know her name's on the game, but just in case, stay away from the darkness. Oh, are we, Robert? Okay. Click here to move. Hold right mouse button to charge the device. Over crying out loud, it's a hand cranked light bulb. Okay, we got we got it. Oh no! Is this a mobile game? We can go over here, we can go over here. Okay, no, uh, okay. Here's here's the thing. Oh oh no. I clicked in the wrong place. This isn't where I meant to go. Can we can I go here please? Okay, this is C. That's device number C. Um
Hang on. I can't turn up the brightness. That's incredibly annoying. Um, I realize that the darkness is... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Apparently, bringing up the menu restarts the game. Okay, let's go again. Okay, so this feels like a mobile game. Um, what was wrong with WASDA controls exactly? <laughs> okay, I'm just running around charging. I don't know that we're gonna play much of this. Like, do I just stay put? What's the optimal strategy here? I guess we'll explore the house real quick. Is that Grandpa there? Also, if I'm moving strangely, it's because I'm locked into a very specific set of positions. Um, really, really cannot move freely here. Which one of these is A? Is this one A? This is A. Okay, the one in Grandpa's room, I guess? I don't know. No, Grandpa's locked into his room. So listen, I realize that all horror games are contrived to a certain extent, but this is, um... This is kind of bad. <laughs> this is a terrible way to set up a house. So this is it, we're just gonna... Run up and down stairs, cranking lights. I kind of hope Sophie kills me, actually. Oh, okay. So, um, can I can I go downstairs, please? Okay, yeah. So we have to walk into the kitchen in order to pick up this, what is clearly a tablet. Checkpoints, 8 p.m., 10 p.m., midnight, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., and 6 a.m. Just in case, stay away from the darkness. Oh, A is a safe point? Is it, though? It's almost 8 p.m. I mean, I can just, like, stand here, right? Just stand here and wait for time to pass? So I guess, in a way, this is a unique 2D experience, uh, just that neither of those things is necessarily a good thing here. I guess we should go keep D charged? I don't know, man. I, I suppose it's best to get ahead of these things. I normally don't play these types of games. Um, if anything, I just find them stressful and annoying, uh, so we'll see how long this keeps up. If time keeps passing like this, I think we'll be okay. Oh, 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 okay. We hit a checkpoint, so the lamps automatically charge? What is that noise? I'm doing some research. D is our safe point now. Sophie was a good girl, 19 years old, a perfect GPA student, no criminal record. She was just a nice girl, and one day, she just dis disappeared. Are we Henry or Robert? Whatever. Let's go to D. Nope, this ain't D. Oh. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go to D quickly. I think Sophie's here. charge this on our way upstairs. Haven't had to charge B yet. I, I think. Why is that mirror? What's up with the mirror? Is 
So apparently this is our safe point, but like, what does that mean? Did she just, like, open random doors? I kind of want to get caught just so I know what happens. Well, I can see how this is going to become very frustrating as the night goes on. Sophie? Sophie, more like no fee. Am I right, fellas? Oh, oh, lights are running down. Lights are running down. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this is going to keep me entertained. I'm not sure how long it's going to keep you, the audience, entertained. I don't really even have much commentary here. It's, this is just kind of distracting. <laughs> it's um, 40 degrees and raining here in Oregon. Uh, I have the heat off and the window open in the room I'm in because I prefer to be cold when I'm gaming. <laughs> That might make me sound like a psychopath. There she goes. Um, what did she do? Did she break something? Sophie! Anyway, what I was going to say is that the, uh, the cold helps me focus. You know, like a computer. Oh yeah, they're burning down faster now. That's, that's unkind. I don't appreciate that. Also, as I said, I'm not an electrician, but I see ways the system could have been set up better. Was it necessary to have 100 foot cables trailing all over the house? Also, if we have to hand crank each light, is it necessary for them to be joined together? Shut up! <laughs> yep, the jump scare got me. And that's it. That That's it. We're done. We're just immediately dropped back to the menu. Okay. Well, according to OBS, I've been playing for 13 minutes, so I guess we'll go again, huh? One more time. Your previous save data will be erased. Do you wish to continue? Oh, oh, we can just pick it up from 8 p.m. Okay, well, that's fine. then. Okay, so what I've learned here is that despite being told to stay in the light, um, it doesn't seem to actually matter. <laughs> but A is our save point this time, because we were standing in the light. But I, I guess I guess if we're not at the safe point, it doesn't matter that the light's on. I don't know. I mean, what's the optimal strategy here? Do I scamper back to the safe point? She's somewhere nearby. That's thunder. Okay, B is not cooperating. There, there it is again. Okay, this is looking like it's gonna be a one-off. Um, Okay, so here I am. This is supposedly our safe point. Is there a way for me to tell where she is before I move? That's the question I need answered. Is that her right there? Can you hear that noise? I'm not crazy, right? Okay, I heard a door close, but where was it? We're just gonna stand. Why are we panting so heavily? Dude, you're holding still. Okay, well, fortunately, it's A that's running down right now, so that's easy. Okay, you just keep cranking that. Like, I can hear her moving. But does it matter?
Okay, D is winding down. So, like, we need to get on the move here. Do I have to wait for that noise to go away? Sorry, this is probably really annoying for you. Oh, that was the light bulb making noise. What the heck was that? Okay, I looked on the internet, and um, the best I was able to find is that maybe Sophie's only walking the house while the power is draining, and two, that if we hear her making a noise, we should immediately stop doing whatever we're doing. So we're going to try that and see if it makes a difference. See, nothing's happening right now, so she's not in the house, right? So hypothetically, okay, so there's C. C is winding down. Now, if I just stand here and wait, A is also winding down, so that's pretty good. We can do something about that. If I just wait, will it stop? Sure doesn't look like it. Oh, that's C and D. No, it's not going to stop, is it? We have to go for it. That's all there is to it. Okay. I wait. I crank. I stop. I turn. Oh, don't. No, okay, she got me. All right. Listen, I would like to at least make it to the second checkpoint. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm not asking too much there. Like, should I have run away from her there? I'm being very quiet now because, um, well, because I don't know what else to do. I was already planning for this. Oh, turn! No! Nope. Oh, now, come on! Okay, so I reread the instructions. Um, I, of course, immediately forgot all the things that we were told to do. Um, apparently, the safe point changes locations. <laughs> So that's something I need to pay attention to. Uh, this appears to be heavily dependent on luck, and I am not such a fan of that. But, you know, here we are. Okay, B is going down. It's possible that it's in my best interest to wait for a device to run down as much as possible before I actually try to go fix it. But like at the same time, how much time do I want to spend just standing around waiting? Okay, D is getting awfully low, so we're gonna have to go for it. It also kind of bothers me that we can't look down the stairs before we run. What was that movement? I don't know what to pay attention to. OK, 
Okay, we gotta make a move. Oh, go, go, go! Okay. Okay. Are we good? Hey, check it out. We survived a thing. I would love to make it to the next checkpoint, but that, that's a that's a over an hour away. So I understand why this game apparently this game was kind of popular around the time it came out in 2016. Um, oh, that's not good. And I can see it. This is definitely hitting some tension. Uh, nothing's going down. So does that mean she's not in the house right now? No, I'm just not sure this is making me tense in a good way. Okay, now the safe point is D. I feel like we should maybe just stick to the safe point. Oh! We're in the safe point, you can't touch me! Ah! Ah! Get away from me! I mentioned before that I don't like timers in games, usually creates what I call artificial difficulty. You know, if a task isn't necessarily all that hard, you can pretend it's hard by adding a timer. And really, this right here is a simple task compounded by the addition of four timers and a monster that just kind of grabs you sometimes. Okay, our save point's back at A. So is this game creating the tension appropriate to a horror game? Yes, but for the wrong reasons. Also, again, can't shake the feeling this was supposed to be a mobile game. We need... we need to get upstairs. There's a garbage truck coming by outside and there's nothing I can do about it. So, um... Hang on. <laughs> Every time. Whew, that was close. Hey, we're almost at the checkpoint. How much you want to bet she's going to kill me in the next couple of seconds? Uh-oh. I don't know if this is our safe point or not. We're going to stay here because if we move, she will kill us. Okay, fantastic. And at this point, we can just wait it out. We can just stand here looking down the hallway. And there we go. We need to run downstairs immediately. I don't know that we're going to get all the way to 6 a.m. The police report says that Sophie's parents went out with some friends around 7. Faster, Henry, I'm going to die. When they left, Sophie was by herself in the living room reading a book. Everything was just as usual, but when they came back at 10.30 p.m., she was missing. A back window was broken, and Sophie's blood was found on the basement. On the basement, just all over it, apparently. Is that it? Are we done here, Henry? Okay, because I need to go to A. We're coming up on midnight. I assume this gets harder as the night goes on. Oh, look at that. They're falling pretty quickly. How often does the checkpoint, the safe point change? Is it like once an hour? Okay, 
Well, I hear her moving around. Um, unfortunately, it kind of doesn't matter, because once that light runs down, we're doomed anyway. Let's go for it. Uh, nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ah, for crying out loud. All right, I think we're going to stop there for today. You folks get the idea. That was Sophie's Curse. Um, it is what it is. This is $5 on Steam. If you want to give it a try yourselves, I would strongly recommend waiting to pick it up on sale. There's no way I paid more than a buck for this. What can I say about this? It was a mini game. Um, with awkward controls and a monster that was very hard to predict and avoid. Maybe I'm playing the game badly. Maybe that's the problem. Um, I did not care for this. So we will only be revisiting this if somebody requests it because they want me to suffer. So Sophie's Curse, Luis Contreras, that's the guy we can blame for this. Man, we'll do better next week, huh? Anyway, that's it for today. So, hey, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel. And thanks, as always, to those of you watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel, because you count, too. Every view counts. We will be back here next week with some kind of horror content. Dwarf Fortress on Mondays. We're currently in the middle of a dredge series, and there's lots of other stuff on the channel for you to check out if you want. I will see you folks next time, and until then, keep the lights on, Birdman out.